Behind this door, the Prime Minister and his allies are fighting for his political survival. As the drip drip of party allegations here continue to knock the wind out of Boris Johnson's administration and his authority. Alastair Little has been a Tory councillor in the Midlands for 20 years. He's quit his party, angry at its leader and the apparent Covid rule breaking under his watch. He's apologised to the nation, he's apologised to every vote, but a very weak apology. Isn't it more important for a democracy, for the elected officials to step up to the plate and take um, the high ground and say, this is what happened, this is my actual apology, I'm sorry for what happened, I've lost control of my number 10 team. The anger is being felt in the Prime Minister's West London constituency. Although voters here are divided on whether the PM is to blame for what happened in number 10. If he's done it and he's been aware of it, then obviously yeah, he needs to be held accountable. He's the local MP uh, for around here. Have you voted for him in the past? Yes. Would you vote for him again? Well, I think we've got to see what comes out of what's happening now, isn't it? It's just a party. I don't think you know it's a, it's a massive problem. He is disgusting, to be honest with you. Everybody mm -hmm. abided by the rules by him. If I voted for a Conservative in the past, oh, would you now? No, not while he's party leader. No way. It's voters like that giving this man a boost. Polls suggest Labour's popularity is increasing as Sir Keir Starmer steps up his attacks on the PM. He's got to go. Um, and, and of course there's a party advantage in him going, but actually it's now in the national interest that he goes. So it's very important now that um, the Tory party does what it needs to do and gets rid of him. The PM's not been seen since Wednesday. Did you lie about the party? When his MPs return to Westminster on Monday, the questions will keep coming as anger grows and his authority weakens.